Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of From the Depths. It is great to have you all here today. So we are bringing in a couple more community ships, the HMS Lightning and the TBF Commando. Let's go ahead and take a look at these bad boys really quick here. Let's go ahead and uh, get the camera all situated. There we go. There we go. All right. Yeah, so so these, uh, these new ships, we're bringing in two of the HMS Lightning and three of the TBF Commando. They're going to make up the Grand Wiggums Enforcement Fleet. It's quite a, quite a glorious fleet there. So here is the HMS Lightning. Really dig the look. It's like a it's like a short, fat little boat, isn't it? It's kind of stunted the way it looks, but as you can see here, lots and lots of lasers. In fact, it is seven main laser systems. This uh, front one here, this main bad boy right there, and then we've got the six lacing the uh, sides and the top of the ship. Now there are also missile systems. If we take a look at these, they are variable thruster. Ah, crud. Hang on. I just changed the weapons. One sec. There we go. All right. So variable thruster, just set to uh, 800 thrust. So, you know, they're going to be a little bit slower than average. And three fuel tanks, couple of fins. We do have a Lua receiver. I don't know what kind of Lua code these are running. I'm not quite sure. They do have an EMP warhead and a frag warhead set to a rather low cone, a cone angle of only 15. And let's see if there's anything on the back of this guy here. We do have laser missile defenses, which just exploded. What was that about? No, we're already, like, killing ourselves. <laughs> you know, those are the uh, the forces of Scrote. That's how we roll, you know? That's how we roll. And it also, yeah, look at this. I mean, hydrofoils. It's just overall, it's a very cool ship. Very effective. I don't know how it's going to be with defenses. It does have invis invisible shielding, and it does have lambs, like I mentioned. But uh, we'll have to see, <clears throat> you know, excuse me, how its combat prowess really p plays out here in the first battle. So that is the HMS Lightning. Let's go ahead now and bring in the TBF Commando. Where are you? Where are you, sir? There it is. These are very fast. They fly around 188 meters a second. In fact, we got to slow down time. There is no way I'm going to catch this guy. All right. Let's take a look at this. The commando. Now, I know these only feature uh, a cannon. And the cannon is up front here. Since it's such a small build, we can go ahead and take a look at the makeup of the cannon. Find the firing piece. Here it is. So, uh, reload a .32, so about three shots a second, 676 kinetic, 283 explosive with 10 AP. So they have, you know, decent armor-piercing capabilities. N not great. And a fairly high recoil at 1950. Inaccuracy is not bad at 1.53. You know, you, you can see some, some cannons getting inaccuracy down to like .02 and things like that. But in the grand scheme of things, 1.53 is really not that bad. And otherwise, you know, all this all this ship features is uh, missiles on top of the cannon. And the missile makeup, we've got just short-range thrusters, couple fuel tanks, couple fins. We're running some TPG for the guidance systems and an explosive warhead. Let's make sure that's the same on both sides. It is. It is. And I really, really dig this design. Oh, it also has, uh, what are these, sticky flares, missile interceptors? Sticky flares and torpedo propellers. That is an interesting makeup. I've never seen flares coupled with uh, torp torpedo propellers before that'll be very interesting to see and look at this another little payload of missiles right out the back very cool design these are missile interceptors sticky flares missile interceptors cool i mean this ship uh, this jet has quite a bit going for it all right let's speed it back up here it has a huge attack run by the way it's it's uh i want to say like 2.5 kilometers is the attack run for this jet the tpf tbf commando i should get that right all right, well, let's zoom out. So here's what's going on. Uh, so far, the Ionic Revolution has sent uh, one extra little little scouting fleet down here. We took them out with our Rasta Baconista fleet. However, to start, we're going to head over here to this 93 Strength Square. We're going to take the Grand Wiggums Enforcement Fleet, and we're just going to kick this off. We're going to get this, this rocking and rolling. We're not going to bring any other fleets in. I really want to see how this fleet will perform all by itself. You know, I, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking these these TBF commandos, I think these are going to be too hard to... Holy smokes! That came fast. That was way fast. So yes, I believe these TBF commandos are going to be too hard to catch. I want to separate these a good bit. I'm just... I'm really worried about the short bussing right now. Like, to, to an extreme degree. And we're going to bring our HMS Lightnings... Right over here. Right over here. No! even further back and I want to make sure the lightnings spawn in first just in case we don't get the commandos 
So here's what we're going up against. My goodness, an infiltrator, an infiltrator, an infiltrator, infiltrator. <laughs> six. So we're going up against six infiltrators. Wow. This is going to be a fun one, isn't it? Oh, this is going to be super fun. We're going to sit in one of the HMS Lightnings. Let's go ahead and begin the battle, my friends. Battle begins. Let's get off the weapon systems. Get back over to the cameras. Disengage the camera. Interface off. And this battle is underway. Look at these multicolored laser beams just going everywhere. TBF commandos just, uh, just taking off super fast. All right, we got... Tons of infiltrators. This is actually really cracking me up right now with all these infiltrators. Do they have smoke? Does anybody see smoke coming out of these? I don't know if I, I see smoke. We have AI dead on one of the infiltrators. Here come some of the missiles here from the HMS Lightnings. Will they be quick enough? Nimbly enough? Oh, they're going to catch. Oh, yeah, they're catching. EMP damage right in the back of that infiltrator. It looks like it is slowing down. We took the engines out with that, that EMP blast. How phenomenal is that? And now you get to eat disco lights, disco laser beams. <laughs> uh, we are taking some damage in one of our HMS lightnings. We're gonna go ahead and set our character down there. Down in one of these bad boys. Look at this. I love it. It's so colorful. Bing. We are taking some damage from the cannon shells. Uh, the shielding must not be very optimal on those HMS lightnings. There you can see one of our commandos. You can see the missile launches they have. Those are probably the... Actually, I don't know. What do they have that shoots down like that? I know they have sticky flares with the torpedo propellers, but... Where... I don't even know where those missiles went. I honestly have no idea. We're, we're going to have to get the interface on, because I don't know where anybody is right now. Uh, here's one infiltrator. Here's another one that's dead. Uh, right there. AI dead on that little guy. How are we doing? We are taking some damage. We're gonna we're just gonna be rotating our character. In fact, what I may do on these HMS lightnings, you know, because I we wanna keep them rather close. Oh lord, look at all the mainframes. Good gosh. Alright, I was gonna say, well, we'll just manipulate the mainframes. So these bad boys are like crazy efficient and uh, not moving around, but yeah, never mind on that. Let's get a repair no, not a repair bot, repair tentacles. We're gonna just lace the, uh, just lace the sides of this right here. If I can get over there, hang on. Uh, I can't build. Oh, these must be on spin blocks or something. Yeah, I can't build on these. How hilarious. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Wait a minute. Oh, there we go. Wait. No, no, we're over here. Are we? Where are we? Here we are. We found a place we can build. I'm just going to put these all along the top here, just in case these guys get close enough. And we will do the same on the other one, which is right here. Oh, the whole top is missing from this guy. Never a good sign. We'll get just a few more repair tentacles on this as well. There we go. This way, you know, I can start them off kind of close to each other, and they will potentially, hopefully, you know, heal up. All right, here's one of the remaining infiltrators. Uh, he was able to just squeak past those missiles. Let's see if these are going to be able to connect. Looks like these are coming from the TBF commandos. Here they come. Get them, baby. Yes, now take that engine out, that EMP damage. There it is. Did we take the engine out? Engine is out. That's going to spell doom for this infiltrator. Boom, look at that. Absolutely marvelous. And the lightnings are healing up. The lightnings are healing up. Well, yeah, what, what I was thinking earlier, I wanted to find the mainframe to turn the engines off, but there's just, there's too many mainframes. I have no idea which one will be, like, engines off, unless I could just, unless that'll do it. Let's see. I think that might keep them from moving, and then I can keep them really close to each other with their heels. Yeah, 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 awesome, awesome. That's what we're going to try. All right, so we still have an enemy. Where is he? Way down yonder. There's the infiltrator. Let's see. I just want to make sure combat didn't actually, like... Okay, yeah. They're just too far. They're just too far. AI is dead, though. Awesome. Looks like we had some connections going on there. AI is dead. We cored the AI out. And uh, where are our TBF commandos? Here they come. They are going to launch some missiles. It's going to be glorious. Come on, baby. Shoot them. Where are your missiles? 
Oh, here they come. Oh, there they go. All right. Well, they were there for, for but a moment. All right, battle one. I can take it. I can take it. I can deal. I can deal. Let's go ahead and get the repairs going on these guys. Awesome. Awesome. Let's see how big this is. Uh, this... That's going to be kind of big. You know what? Let's go for it. We're going to bring up... We're going to go up here for this resource zone. Let's also bring our Cossacks and whatnot. Uh, let me get these guys up here, and then we will rendezvous, my friends. Okay, here we go, ladies and gents. We have uh, both of our fleets ready to rock against uh, what the Ionic Revolution sent against us, which is... Ooh, ooh, it's a heavy load here. We got Bob, you know, who we haven't seen for a while. And we've got uh, a Desecrator, a Radiance, a Devastator. Ooh, Devastator's rough. Desecrator, I'm not sure. The Radiance is, uh, it can be a little rough, but Bob, oh boy, we really got it coming at us on this one. Okay, so let's get our, let's get our TBF commandos. Here's what we're going to do. It's going to be great. This is going to be super great. Our, our commandos are going to be coming from all over the place, from all sides. Now, these are our HMS Lightnings. I want these kind of close together, like right here. And remember, we turned their, their combat AI off, so they shouldn't be able to move. I think they should be, no? Like, uh, s uh, stationary. And this way they can heal each other. Now we've also got our Cossacks, which are awesome. We're gonna get the Cossacks over here as well. Kind of close to the HMS Lightnings. And we're gonna get these Ramos airships. I'd say about 250-ish in height. About like so. Now, I wanna make sure First off, I want our HMS Lightnings to spawn in first. I'm trying to think about what we want and when. And then I'd like a Cossack, an airship, a Cossack, an airship, and then our commando units. Yeah, this is a big battle. Look at this, our block slider. We could essentially double it if we wanted. So, you know, this will be good. We're not going to be fighting all of the enemy at once. This would just be a whole lot. Let's just see how this pans out. I think we're finally getting to that point where battles can start to be very big. So we'll use this one as a gauge. How about that? We'll keep it at 28,000 blocks. We'll see how many forces we get, how many the enemy gets, and, you know, after this one we can determine, oh, you know, that wasn't so bad. Maybe we could crank this up to max. You know, maybe we could try everything at once. You know, there's just going to be a lot of action on the screen when we do that, so. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Who do I, I think I want to sit down on one of the lightnings. Oh, God, it's loud. All right, they are right next to each other, just like I suspected. Who do we have coming in? Uh, we got a Cossack. We got an airship. We really got a pretty good spread, so I believe this is the Desecrator. That is the Desecrator. He is uh, puffing a lot of smoke, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, here comes. Look at this. This beautiful missile volley. Where are they going? Why did that just happen? Interface on, just so we can see. I really said that delayed, by the way. Don't think there's a delay. Don't worry. Uh, Health-wise, we're doing okay. So, yeah, we didn't get our, our other Cossack or Ramos. But we, we did get a pretty good plethora of ships here. And this is the Radiance, I believe. It is indeed the Radiance. He is directly over the lasers coming from the HMS Lightnings. I'd love to see those hit, man. I'd love to see something going down here. Oh, no. <gasps> yes. Yes, this is glorious. We have taken the Desecrator out of the sky. Get him. Oh, are you kidding? Run into him. Hit him, missiles! What are you doing? That's not how you're supposed to play this game. He is just down in the water right now. And unfortunately, looks like a lot of our, our stuff... Our, yes, our stuff. You know, so much stuff just coming at him, it's not going to hit. Some of these may connect. I don't know. We're seeing some connections. There's like a little bit of EMP over here, right over there. He's in the water, though. So as far as offenses go, I'm not too worried. We are doing all right health-wise. I love this airship. It seriously just reminds me so much of Homeworld. I just can't can't put my finger on it, but it does. So I love this. We are really hammering on this Radiance. Left side of the Radiance is, is gone, man. That left sled is gone. EMP connecting. A lot of little frags everywhere. Little explosions there, you know, of goodness. Each little explosion, each little frag is like just a little dose of love. And let me tell you, you never want to OD on love, all right? All right, that will drive you nuts. So I'm a little bit worried about our HMS Lightnings. They are really tipping down here. 
However, you can see our heals are working quite nicely between them, keeping them uh, really well healed up. Question will be, what, what sort of a resource hog, you know, will that be? How much damage will they take? Will it be like the, uh, what were those little torpedo frigate destroyers we had? If you remember those, we'd keep them in like a line of three, and they'd heal each other, and boy, would they take some serious damage, but, woo, effective, very effective. All right, we have the Radiance now down in the water, and we still have, where'd the other one go? Oh, is it over here? Oh, yeah, it's over there. There's the Desecrator down there. So we've got the ships down in the water. We very well may be getting a Cossack coming in again, which would give us two. You know, when in doubt, you want two Cossacks, never just one. All right, how's the, how's the Desecrator doing? I think we might have just had some more ships spawn in, just based on the lag we're getting. Oh, he is barely hurt. Barely hurt. And if we did get another ship, yeah, I want to focus on what just came in, actually. So let's get everybody... Let's get everybody targeting this uh, ship that just came in. In fact, what is this? Let's uh, take a look really quick. Okay, it's the Devastator. 6,000 block Butte. Woo, she is a real Butte, Clark. How close are we to getting our Cossack? 800 more blocks. Oh, wait, we have lost something. Wait, did we lose something? I'm having a hard time telling... No, wait, did we? I, I don't know. Wow, I'm all of a sudden free. I feel like we might have lost something, but I don't know if we did. Maybe we didn't. It just feels like our list is a little short at the moment. There's that Desecrator trying to get out of the water. In fact, it's great that he is sticking up like that. Ding? Oh, baby. Ding. We are level... Uh, where's our level? 481. Look at that. It's impressive. All right, let's take a look at the health on this guy really quick. The Devastator's down by about 300 blocks. It looks like our HMS Lightnings, they're doing okay. They're doing okay. You know, not amazing. Here comes the Ramos coming down for a little uh, attack run here. Got the cannons just blasting away. Are they connecting? Are they invisible? Oh my god, what are you doing? Dude, that maneuver. Okay, okay, put me on this ship, please. Warp. All right, let's get out. Let's see if I can get out. Please let me get out. I don't know what's happening. I gotta turn my speakers down, it is so loud. All right, can we take this over? Can we, uh... okay, there's a little little way in. Now, I don't wanna kill myself. Not gonna, not gonna do it. You know what I mean? Not gonna kill myself. I want to get in right here. I can see what looks to be a steering wheel. Here we go. Oh, we're down here. This is awesome. Okay, let me just take a look inside here really quick. I know there's going to be some... Oh, yeah. Okay, I see some stuff in there. Let us begin, my friends. The glorious journey to finding the mainframe. I don't even see my grenades exploding. And everything's black. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Now I can't see anything. Yeah, so some people gave me some suggestions to switch my grenade launcher to the... to the other mode, the uh, sticky mode. You know, where they stick for a while? Oh, I wish I could disable oil on the screen. That sure would be super swell. All right, let's keep them going in there. Surely at some point we are going to get this, and it's going to be amazing. Let's just make sure we don't already... We are really starting to take some damage, though, which is, is very bothersome. Let's take a look at the life on the Devastator, down by about 1,500 blocks. I can see... Some, we're lagging. I wonder if Bob just spawned in. He very well could have. Oh, we just caught the Devastator. Yes! Awesome. Okay, uh, let's get back out of here. We just caught the Devastator. Unfortunately, we are just going to be laced with... Uh, with just oil on our screen right now. There's really nothing we can do about that, unfortunately. All right, our HMS Lightnings are hopefully healing up, and uh, I'm gonna wait for this oil to clear out, and then we will we will rendezvous back. Yeah, yeah, I just wanna say, oil on the screen, it's gotta go. It's It's gotta go. It's been a minute and a half, and look, there's still so much oil on the screen. It is so frustrating. Oh my gosh, come on. That should not be a thing. I'm not even in my avatar right now, and I'm still like, oily screen. I know I complain about this every time it comes up. Alright, so we did have Bob spawn in, and unfortunately our Devastator, it actually, uh, it, it blew up. I don't know what's going on. 
But if I if I focus on it, the game thinks it's in space. And I don't know if you can see the text right there. It thinks it's up in, in space. So I don't know what's going on. But um, yeah, it was it was below 80% health and sinking. And when I moved my character out of it, uh, it dropped all the way to 0%, went up into space, and uh, now I can't even get to it. So who knows what's going on? Who knows? All right, looks like we got Bob. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Collision? We gonna have one? Oh, they just missed each other. However, Bob is now falling out of the air. This is fantastic. How are you doing, Bob? He's down by about 400 blocks. Not a lot. As long as Bob is deploying that smoke, he's gonna be okay for the most part. And we are, we are really taking some damage here. Our HMS Lightnings have seen better days. Let's go over here and take a look. Make sure they're still doing all right. Yeah, you know what I've found is lasers just are not that effective. Every, I mean, every enemy we've seen, you know, for the most part, like in this custom campaign so far, has deployed smoke, which honestly, like all you need is one layer of smoke and lasers are just the most pointless weapon system to deploy. And you know, it's so funny how that switched around. Lasers used to be the most op thing ever. And now it's like, any, if anybody has smoke, I just immediately write off lasers as like, there's no way they're going to be effective. All right, let's see how we're doing here. Uh, one of our Cossacks is down to 70%. Let's go ahead and get our character in this one. We are really playing the character switching game here. Bob? Bob? Where, interface on. Where's Bob? Ah, uh, Bob is down here. Did, okay, so we still have a ship to come in as well. Yeah, I'm a little bit frustrated with the, uh, with the Devastator. I don't know what happened. It dropped to 0% and we didn't even get any of the resources for it after we owned the ship. Which, uh, you should. You know, once you take over a ship, even if it's auto-scrapping, you should get the resources for it. It's happened previously, so I know it does that. And it didn't happen in this case. You know, I was thinking we would have probably gotten a couple, a couple hundred thousand solid metal from that. So Bob is down here under the water taking a good bit of damage. No, Bob. No, Bob. Today is not your day, my friend. And what a glorious name, too, Bob. You know, it just, it rings so true. It's, it's just a, a human name for a ship to have. Really makes you relate. You're like, I don't, I don't know if I want to shoot Bob. Who would want to shoot Bob? He's an amazing dude. Did you know Bob wears a, a monocle? That's the thing that sets Bob apart from, like, other non-Bobs. He's got a monocle. He only wears pants that have one pant leg, though, which is a little strange. Oh, my God. Check us out. Look at this. Interface off. Got to get a screenshot of this. We are chilling. See, this is... Ah, oh, the camera drives me crazy sometimes. It's so hard to adjust. We got to get, like, a, the ultimate view. Oh, what do you... It just started moving on its own. Come on, Kosek. There it is. Look at us up in that cockpit. Looking beautiful. Or whatever you want to call that. It's probably not a cockpit. Oh, there's the Devastator up in the air. It's been sinking for negative 96 seconds. Let's go check out Bob. All right, Bob, how are things going, man? You are uh, down to 7,100 blocks. You got a huge hole blown in your uh, side here. Everything's dark. This is why, so I've had a, a couple people ask me why I haven't tried capturing ships. This is the main reason. Uh, all the ships with the Ionic Revolution are painted black on the inside. And, uh, you know, here in the game, for me, it's just pitch black. Like, I can't see anything. It's during the render process that I brighten things up a little bit so we can actually see, you know, inside of these ships. So I know, you know, for you guys, when I'm complaining, like, I can't see anything, you know, you can totally see. And it makes it look like I'm, I'm derping, you know, because you really you can see. But uh, it's it's during the recording process that I, I legitly cannot see anything. It is pitch black in these ships to me. I can't even see the seams between the blocks. Like, it is just intense. All right, so Bob is taking a beating. And, you know, wow, these HMS Lightnings are really not healing up that much. What is able to shoot these? You gotta be kidding me if these are... Okay, there's a Cossack. Where are our lightnings? Let's go look. I'm getting a little frustrated with these HMS lightnings. I feel like we've spent a lot of resources to keep these healed up. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's put them back on combat mode. So they get out of the water. This should let them raise up a little bit. Because, I mean, you know, if they're sinking down like this, right, the lasers are going to have an even greater chance of hitting the water. Let's just get them up here. How are they doing? I mean, they're super close. Are they even healing? No, they're not even healing. They must be too far apart. Bogus. Major bogues. All right, let's get our character in here. 
Okay. All right, get the heals going, my friend. Uh, down to 82%. Goodness. Okay, there they go. Now they're close enough. Sort of. That was the deal. They were just a little bit too far apart, so that would explain why they weren't healing. And it's really hard to tell what's going on here. I like this view. Always a classic. Here's Bob right here. He's down to 78% health. You can see his health bar just a little bit. All of these little green things are missiles or torpedoes or cannon shells. I mean, golly, it's insane. There we go. Looks like Bob is sinking. Marvelous. His name is Bob and he is sinking today. Do -do 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 that was my Bob sinking song. Oh, Bob, you're going down. Bob has uh, approximately four seconds to live. We're going to watch him disintegrate. It's going to feel really good. So let's see. We only ended up taking off. That is not the HMS Lightning. We only ended up taking off, you know, sub, well, about 2,000 blocks. Yeah, 2,100 or so before Bob started uh, sinking. So really, we only had to take off. Oh, come on, select it. You know, like 20%, maybe, you know, 20, yeah, 20% 20 or so, something like that of Bob's health before he started disintegrating on his own. That's what's great about when ships fall into the water. You know, they start to sink, and it's just game over, man. Game over. Oh, it's been real, Bob. See ya. How are we doing up above? We healing? Come on. I have put my character in this ship, and it's still not healing. I don't know what's going on. I really don't. Let's see. We're in here. See, this is weird to me sometimes. I'll put my character in a ship, and he won't heal. There we go. I just toggled healing back on. It was on in the first place. But yeah, he doesn't heal it. I don't know what's going on. I really don't know. Why Why would my character not... Do you see this? My character's not healing this ship at all. Has anybody run into this problem before? There he goes. Now he is. Notice how he starts healing this ship when that ship... Uh, when, when the healing tentacles on this aren't healing that ship. That's an interesting thing. Is that like a, a glitch? Yeah, the, the heals on here were healing that ship. And while that was happening, my character on this ship wasn't able to heal the ship that was healing the other ship. That's weird. That's very weird. But you saw it here. I promise. It's exactly what was happening there. I don't know what was going on. But Bob? Bob? I think that's it. Oh, wait a minute. No, we still got a, a ship that came in. Oh! I can't see anything. It's nighttime. It is pitch black. But we got a, an infiltrator, it seems. He is at uh, 1,100 blocks. He just spawned in. This is the last ship they got going in this fleet. We're going to see how he fares as he travels through this just infested waters with missiles. Oh, so many floating missiles. Look at all of them. It is, it is literally a disco light show right now. I mean, yeah. Wow. That looks hilarious. All right, here come a lot of missiles hitting the infiltrator. You really can't see, unfortunately. He's down by about 200 blocks. I love these colorful lasers, though. At least we can see those at nighttime. There we go. We've, we've blown him up. He's sinking. I think AI is dead. Look at all this. Look at all this. You can't handle it. You can't handle the truth. How are you doing? All right. Down by, uh, he's down to 500 blocks. He's almost out. Can't see anything. Let's zoom out here. Look at that. I love it. I'm getting all sorts of weird screenshots today. A bunch of dingleberries just flying left and right. I do apologize about that. You know, I try to minimize the amount of dingleberries I throw throw at you guys in a given episode. Infiltrator has two seconds to live. One second. And Infiltrator's disintegrating. There he goes. Boop, 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 boop. I keep doing the three C-3PO noise. Or is that R2-D2? That's R2. Sorry. I should get that right. All right. Wow. Goodness. Oh, you can't take a screenshot right there. Oh, bummer. I was going to say, that is an epic screenshot. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, we are past the 30-minute mark. We are going to save this resource zone for the next episode, and then we will continue our progress against the Ionic Revolution. I have a feeling the fortress is right up here somewhere, so we're going to try to just make, like, a beeline for the fortress and take these suckers out before we, uh, you know, move on to another faction. So anyways, ladies and gents, if you have any comments or suggestions, just want to chat it up, feel free to do so. Of course, if you're enjoying things, enjoying the series, enjoying the episode, definitely give it a like. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. So until then, ladies and gents, hope you all have a great one. Take it easy and stay classy.